Very different physiques, these two players. So Kareem abdul Gawad kicks off the final of the UCS Swedish Open 2016 live here in Linköping. And the central referee taking charge of this is Roy Gingell from Wales. know the way that Egyptians when they do like to play each other it is more kind of short sharper rallies it was fascinating watching Mohamed El Shabagi play Omar Mossad in Tournament of Champions last month they were playing like the traditional English game of so much depth and and uh, subtle length changes but I feel Gawad knowing that Tarek Mohamed has had a 90 minute match less than 24 hours ago should be looking to extend this first game no matter what. And I think he will. I think we saw that side of him yesterday when he w came out against Daryl Selby. He was very disciplined with his squash. Up until that point, he'd been very free-flowing and elaborate um, with what he was all. doing and his shot making. But he definitely tightened, tightened it up yesterday in the semi-finals. And I think we'll see the same here. And I think maybe once he's put sufficient work into moment, then we'll see him start to unleash some of the, the sort of the ability and the, the shot making that we can associate with Gawad. And out two one. Decision Gawad. Yes, let two one. carries on like this Joey then we will definitely go 60 minutes well if it does carry on like this I mean after the match uh, with Simon Rosner Tarek Moman looked a very strange shade of green but uh, could go decision Moman probably gray no lead. everywhere he was looking relaxed yesterday at the players function though wasn't he yeah, he was when he was dancing on the tables. <laughs> <laughs> I meant when he was on the stage with Gawad and he was being interviewed. Oh, when they, yeah, and they did that song, yeah. No, it was, it was a nice function. It was good. Uh, the interview of the players went down very well with all the fans and they worked well together. I mean, they were like Oral and Hardy, weren't they? Yeah, they were. And they, they were very relaxed. And, you know, they're obviously they're playing each other today, but... It was quite nice, the answers that they were giving when they were asked about, will, will they beat each other? <laughs> I know, it was very smiley face, competitive. It's great. Well, the baby, baby face assassin wouldn't give anything away, would he? Not really, no. Out. He's coming into his own a bit, though, as a personality. Three mad Dugard. He's got a lot more confident. And I, the way he's uh, approached the game in the last two. kind of 18 months has been superb. I mean, he just plays that free-flowing squash that he's... Uh, it's been so valuable. It's actually increased his game. He's moved up. Well, he's uh, worked hard rankings. at it, hasn't he? Because he was having a lot of problems. He's having a lot of uh, issues traffic with officials. Issues and traffic oh. issues and all sorts of kind of misinterpretations of routes to take. And because he is such a good player, he's adapted and it, it's complemented his game. Yeah, I mean, he's come into meetings and, and what have you, and he's discussed things. And he's moving forwards, isn't he? He certainly is. He's in the final of the Swedish Open with a, a very... Good Gawad. chance of taking this title. Stroke to Gawad. Left box. 
full tree. Down. And out. Four all. We're just talking about the points for this event, with it being a 70 was an international event, or Men's 70 as it's now called, because it's changed uh, throughout the years. It would be the biggest tournament, biggest title, either one of these players has won. The biggest one for moments so far has been the Malaysian Open, which was uh, a Men's 50,000. What about Gawad? Do you know what the biggest one he's won I is? I know he's won around the 30,000 mark, hasn't he? Yeah, not, not, a, not, a, not a Men's 50 mentioning the men's obviously it is a men's tournament just getting used to the new uh, terminology something that you enjoy your buzzwords decision go on yes let five four you'll have to remind me at some point what my buzzwords are and then I, I can avoid some of them they'll come through later in the final I think as you get more excited Both these guys play at the same club in Cairo, the Gazira Club. Famous old club in Zamalek. Been there for eight years. So, t uh, Kareem Abdul Gawad would have, uh, as a junior, been seeing Tarek Moman kind of storming through the rankings as a younger professional. He's playing very well yeah. here, Tarek Moman, though. He's containing it nicely. He's not making kind of any silly unforced errors, and his accuracy to the back is uh, it's very solid. He's not looking to hit it at 100 miles an hour either. Just a nice, firm, controlled hit. There's well, no sign of fatigue yet either. He's looking fresh. He's, he's obviously protecting himself with the, with the variation of pace. That he's hitting up because obviously you go 100 miles an hour, you start to physically put yourself under more strain and duress. Just noticing his technique there, he's uh, starting to look to try and play a bit more off the left leg on the backhand side, which is working well for him. Very right leg don dominant Tarek moment. Yeah, well it just allows you to take the ball earlier, doesn't it? You watch people like this your um, Rami Shaws or your Shabagis, they're, they're yes, hitting on the rise and they're taking the ball off those back legs very early so well it's so much quicker isn't it yeah. to get that that so-called unorthodox uh, the wrong foot out as they you know the orthodox way of saying is the right handers on the backhand side always playing off the right leg and out. But yeah. it's, uh, Seven, at this level six. when the speed is going like nobody's business to get the left leg around is so much quicker just to step it out rather than having to twist your shoulders and hips around Two examples of Gawa doing it immediately after you said. Yeah. Yeah, well it's a nice finish. I'm not sure what he's done on his knee there. Tarek moment. That's uh, hopefully he's okay. Finished that loose ball very well. I don't know if he caught the racket on his kneecap here. Oh no, just a bit of a catch from uh, Gawad, nothing malicious. I mean, that was uh, as casual as it could come. <laughs> I mean, there was no tension in his face or arm or anything. Look at this. Loose ball, but the way he finishes that. <laughs> very upright. It's just great. So, eight all in this first game. was a clever shot for a moment because Nine, it wasn't risky or that low on the front wall but the ball
ball was working in towards the side wall the whole time. Quite often when you talk to people about drop shots, you're always talking about hitting that front wall floor and then into the side wall rather than directly at the nick. Decision yeah, because wide. if it doesn't hit the nick, it gives your opponent a lot of room and a lot of options to play different shots. Video review moment. Yes well, we've got our first video review of this final. Well, Moman's reviewed this because he's not sure that Gawad's taken the correct line, but he, he's set off early and he can probably go and get that ball. I think it's a difficult one to overall, to be honest. Yes, there we go, there's confirmation no remaining, of the decision. I think it, it was worth a punt for Moman because Gawad took, took a long route round, but I think he'd have gone and got that. Down. Out. Well, there was a mini acceleration of pace there from Gawad. I think he needs to do that again. Just an extra gear. Get on the volley quickly. Rush Tarek moment. It's incredible that he's got that ball that tight. Well, it's a tremendous Decision rally. Such a good quality rally. Yes, let nine all. Well, he had a look at the referee. He wasn't going to bother reviewing this, though. I mean, that's pretty standard. Decision, Gawad. Yes, let nine all. Well, moment hasn't got review anyway here. Well, they're chatting away in Arabic. I mean, that's a massive. It was a, there was a good bit of contact <laughs> from the back leg of Tarek Moment, so I don't know what his uh, case is there. He'd read the ball, so he wasn't. Uh, Up. And that's a lovely line and length. Outright winner at the back of the court. We've Ten seen that a lot through Kimball. the event from Gawad. So the orthodox volley, dr uh, back end volley drive there. Matt, game ball for uh, Gawad in his first. That's uh, a wonderful finish from Moment. He made it look quite easy, didn't he? And it was it. He had to take this quite low for the way he bends player into it. By two points. Each player has one video he even had player. time to tap Gawad on the head as he went through. Moment. It's going to be a let ball. Yes, let. Ten all. Well, moment makes crucial unforced Down. error, Ten. trying to force the boast. So game ball once again for Gawad, second opportunity for the younger Egyptian.
think he's got that. Well, if he doesn't win this rally, he'll certainly appeal. This is going to be a let ball. Yes, let. Appeal on uh, Gawaj pickup. Yes, let. The referee is unsure about the pickup. Well, I mean, it didn't bounce twice, but it's, again, if it was a slight carry, where she's held on the racket for an unusual amount of time. Goward was just indicating to moment that it definitely came off the frame. There's the squeeze in that back backhand corner. Well, ten, Gower, Very Gower frustrating for Tarek Moment. He played superbly well and patient in that uh, first game. Just a couple of squeezed unforced errors at the end with a difference. 17 minutes, so certainly a lengthy duration. And it's Gawad that takes the first game of this final. He leads one game to love. 